fellow travelers, Mark here. Walters World. Today we're in Schiphol Airport outside of Amsterdam. Today we're going to talk about ways that tourists could upset the locals here in the Netherlands when they come visit. Because when you're a tourist, you might do things that you think is totally fine, but in the country you go to, won't go over very well. So I want to give you some of the heads up and some of the ways you could really upset the locals when you're here. And you know what? I'm not going to beat around the bush with the first thing we talk about. And the first thing that might upset people is if you beat around the bush. Look, you have to realize the Dutch are very straightforward. They are very forthcoming. They are very honest and they expect everyone to be that way. And so sometimes when people come to the Netherlands, they feel that the people are kind of rude or they're just really, really direct and, and they are. That's how it is here. And if you're not you know, forthcoming to them, they kind of take that the wrong way. So they don't like the passive aggressive stuff. They don't like you know, people talking behind their backs. They want to know what people think right away. So don't beat around the bush because if you do and you're not forthcoming, that kind of makes the Dutch a little unhappy with you. And, and I think another thing that kind of upsets the locals is if a, a tourist or a foreigner, them, they come and visit and they get upset about the honesty. Look, the Dutch aren't always PC, I'll tell you that right now. But the thing is, is they're honest with you and they'll tell you their thoughts. They'll ask you, hey, why are you so fat, Mark? Or, or what are you doing here? Why aren't you in Spain with better weather? I mean, they'll, they'll be honest with you. And so them being honest with you, they kind of are upset if you don't appreciate the honesty back, okay? So that's kind of one thing I think you really need to be ready when you are here because it's something that you might think you're being you know, kind and not saying something, whereas really, the locals really want to know what your thoughts are, okay? So so those are two things that kind of go together. I think it's important to know, but probably one thing where you'll, where you'll really hear their anger at you or their ding ding anger at you is if you stand in the bike lane. Look, nothing upsets a Dutch person more than if a tourist is walking through Amsterdam or Utrecht or wherever, and there's a nice red lane where the bikes go and the tourist is standing right there. Look, you will get the ding 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 and you might get hit by a bike and no one is going to care. Look, you could get killed by the bikes. Nobody's gonna cry for you. They're gonna be even more upset with your corpse because now your corpse is lying in the bike lane. Look, that is one guaranteed way to really upset the locals is it's upsetting the bike lane, okay? So make sure you're paying attention when you're walking around. If you're walking, you notice you're walking on a red path or a bike path that has a bike on it, get out of the way because a bike will be coming soon. And that's what those ding dings are that you're hearing. That's them warning you that they're coming to get you, you stupid tourist. No. Another thing I think is important for tourists to know when they do come here, or if you're going to study here or whatever, is, is the Dutch really do like their rules. They like their Dutch rules. There's there's things they're kind of expect when you're here, and if people don't follow the rules, the, the locals don't like that. So I think that's kind of important to know. And and if really if you if you make a promise to a Dutch person, you made a promise. Remember, you you're honest. You keep your word, kind of thing here. So. You know, if you say you're going to meet them at 8 o'clock, you meet them at 8 o'clock. Not 8.30, not 9, not 7, it's 8, okay? You keep your word. You're not late. You do what you say you're going to do. Because the Dutch very much are, hey, we have these rules. They're there to be followed, so follow them. Because if you don't, then they get a little upset. And that can be from, you know, working on a project if you're a student, or working on a project at work, or setting up a tour with somebody, okay? Now, another thing I've seen that's kind of upset some of the locals from other tours when they come to visit here is when tourists think that all the Dutch are smoking dope and doing drugs all the time because of the reputation of Amsterdam, the coffee houses, and the red light districts and stuff like that. Look, the red light district and the coffee shops in Amsterdam, it's not the locals going there the most of the time, it's the tourists. You're going to the southern part of the country. It's a lot of Germans that are taking part in the, the affairs, let's say. And so the locals kind of take that as an affront to them, like, look, that's not us, that, that's not us, that, that's the tourists that come here, okay? And so there's actually been a lot of discussion about that in the, in the community here in the Netherlands about those very things, okay? So just know that they will not take it kindly if you're like, oh, you're from the Netherlands, you got a blunt for me? No, that, that's not gonna go over. And I, and I think another thing that goes along with the coffee shops, the party culture, the party atmosphere, then the party kind of mentality people have when they come to Amsterdam, when they come to the Netherlands, is something that does actually upset the locals. And that's if you're one of those drunk tourists or one of those high tourists or one of those drunk and high tourists who falls into the canals in, the, you know, in Amsterdam. Look, the crazy tourists, the out of loud, out of control tourists that come here when they party too much, that's something locals don't like either. Like they don't want to go and then be there when those things are happening. So do be aware of that because you know, if you are messed up, people aren't going to help you very much because they're kind of upset with you. So, so just be ready and, and know, know your limits when you're coming to the Netherlands, okay, if you're going to be doing those things. 
I think one of the most important things for a tourist coming here is if you do go to a coffee shop and you are going to partake, talk to the people that are selling the stuff there. Tell them about your experience with, with whatever you're doing so they can help you pick out something better for you. Because what you're going to get at a coffee shop in the Netherlands is going to be very different than what you get back home. Now another kind of small thing that it doesn't always annoy the locals, but sometimes people will comment about that, is if you call the Netherlands Holland. Well, I should say this. When you call the Netherlands Holland outside of a football soccer game kind of thing. Look, if you didn't know, Holland is basically like 80-90% of the Netherlands, but it's not all of the Netherlands. And so for those people that don't live in the Holland part, they might not like that. Okay, so that's that's one thing to think about. And I think another thing is important. This is one thing I think is, is kind of a common thing in every country, but I think it's really important to mention here is uh, if you as a non-Dutch complain about stuff in the Netherlands or complain about Dutch things or Dutch culture or Dutch anything, it, it won't go over well, okay? The Dutch feel like they have a monopoly on complaining about the Netherlands and no one else should do that. And if you do that as a tourist, well, shut your mouth because the Dutch get to do all the complaining about it, all right? <laughs> I guess in a way it goes to our next thing where I want to say, you know, if you're not Dutch, you don't mean much. And this is one thing, if you talk to international people and foreigners that come here to study or work here, sometimes there very much is this, if you're not Dutch, you don't mean much mentality. And if you want to see it really come out and you want to see some heated conversations, okay, some honest kind of conversations, bring up North Africa, bring up the refugees that are here, bring up Eastern Europeans. These are things that are like really buzz topics that will really get people going and talking and really heated in their discussions about these things. So that's 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 something you got to think about. But it is one of those things that people that come here realize that the Dutch have the Dutch and then there's everybody else, okay? So if you're not taking that into consideration, you might see that they might get a little upset with you. Which is interesting because when you try to integrate, like if you're trying to speak Dutch, I think that's another thing that kind of annoys the, the Dutch when you're here is if you, as someone who's not a native Dutch speaker, tries to speak Dutch or tries to begin sentences in Dutch, you'll notice that the locals here go straight to English. Perfect English, by the way. Perfect English. And you may just want to practice your Dutch or improve your Dutch. And the people are like, dude, stop speaking Dutch. Go to English. I'm way better at my English than you are in your Dutch. Yeah, they are. The Dutch are 10,000 times better at their English than you at your Dutch. But the thing is, it's hard for you as a, as a foreigner here, as a visitor here, as a tourist here, as a, you know, someone studying here to learn language because the locals get kind of annoyed when people don't switch to English. So that is one of those things that is kind of funny that usually like, oh, I'm trying. They're like, yeah, 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 stop. Just go to English, okay? Um, <laughs> and I think um, one of the Dutch culture things that sometimes can bring up a little bone of contention with people is if you're coming around Christmas time and you see Black Peter or Zwart Piet, um, let's just say this, just go, yeah, he's from Spain and just drop the subject because it's just, it's just not going to go well. All right. And then I think the, the last one I want to talk about ways that you can annoy your Dutch friends very quickly is if you surprise them. Look, the Dutch do not like surprises. They do not like unplanned stuff. If you're going to do something with the Dutch on a weekend, okay, you're going to go out, you're going to do things. They're going to, okay, where are we going to go eat? Where are we going to go drink? Where are we going to go next? What time are we going to meet? What time are we going to end? Like, it's very much kind of a planned out kind of thing. And if you're a fly by the seat of your pants person, that might not go over so well here. Now, the Dutch are pretty cool about things. It's one thing is a lot of times these things that might annoy them, you'll never realize it um, because the Dutch are like, whatever. But it's something to kind of think about and that kind of un that spontaneity thing. Maybe make sure you kind of talk about the plans and God forbid you show up at your Dutch friend's house without letting them know. You might as well just just don't. Just don't do that, okay? Because the locals will not like that, all right? So these are just some things that I've seen in all my visits here in the Netherlands. Like little things that tourists do that might annoy the locals. Not, they won't annoy everybody, and, and I'm sure there's other things that do annoy the locals. Please put in the comments section below so we can help tourists that come to the Netherlands do a better job of learning more about this beautiful country and the wonderful people that are here. And yes, they are very straightforward. They are very honest. But you know what? They have some of the best sense of humor you'll find in Europe. So enjoy your time here. You will love it from the beautiful cities, the fantastic food, to the crazy people and all the fun stuff in between. Anyway, I wish you all the best. And I'll say bye from here in Schiphol Airport, flying out after another fantastic visit to the Netherlands.